How's it going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be talking about the ternary operator in JavaScript. So what is that? It's basically just a shorthand if statement. So for example, let's say you went to uni and you got a grade of 25. So you failed this, this subject, unfortunately, and you got 25. Now, your result will be either fail or pass. So we can say result equals grade greater than 50 pass otherwise fail and this syntax right here is the ternary operator so your result will be fail so you can see how it works we're actually saying if the grade is greater than 50 then pass so the question mark means like you know then so if the grade more than 50 then pass otherwise fail so now if we log out the result we should see fail let's just refresh now and we get fail beautiful all right pretty pretty simple let's just do this for the sake of an example if we make it now 80 and uh, refresh we get pass okay we can also nest these which means we can actually do this instead so we can say if the grade is more than 80 then we want to say distinction and we go inside here and instead put this in we can say grade more than 50 and then we can say pass otherwise fail so it's a bit messy now but um, let's just pop it on two lines all right so we're saying if the grade is more than 80 then we say distinction. Otherwise, if the grade is greater than 50, we say pass. Otherwise, fail. So it's like an if-else statement. There's, sorry, an if-else, an if-else-else-if. So it's like a nested sort of uh, if statement here. So now we can um, pop in the browser again and refresh, and we still get pass. That's because we haven't changed 80. So if we say uh, 85, now we hopefully should get distinction. And there we go. And that is how you can use the ternary operator in JavaScript. Thank you for watching and see you later.